As we get older, we burn less fat, even when exercising. But today I'm sharing scientific studies on how to speed up your metabolism, burn more fat at rest and during exercise, and undo the negative effects of aging on your metabolism. Hey there, I'm Mish, and I am a full-time researcher with my PhD, and by day I conduct and publish studies of my own, whereas by night I share the results of other people's studies here to help you reach your weight loss, fitness, health, and nutrition goals. And today I will be elaborating on what I think is a decently well-known fact, and then also I will be sharing a largely unknown or underappreciated fact on how to speed up your metabolism. It's well known that we tend to gain weight as we age and that our metabolisms slow down. And it's often talked about as if it is an inevitable consequence of aging that you can't really do anything about. So generally people think that a 70 year old is always going to have a slower metabolism and burn less fat than a 20 year old, for example. But some studies have found that the slowdown in fat burning that happens with aging can actually be accounted for by the loss of fat-free mass with aging, primarily muscle. So the muscle you lose in aging might actually be the main driver of metabolic slowdowns in aging. And what this suggests is that if you continue to build muscle or at least maintain your muscle as you age, your metabolism doesn't have to slow down. Now I realize that most people know that building muscle helps with your metabolism, but I think what most of us don't know is that most of the age change in metabolism might be driven just by age loss of muscle. So I just wanted to share this first as an encouraging note that perhaps metabolic slowdown is not inevitable with age. And another factor that influences our metabolism that doesn't really get talked about nearly as much is our aerobic fitness, so cardio rather than resistance training. So when we are more aerobically fit, our metabolisms tend to be faster. And in particular, these effects are even bigger during exercise. Specifically, it's been shown that people who are more aerobically fit, so people who do a lot of biking or running or brisk walking, actually burn more fat during exercise. So some people intuitively think that if you're more fit, you actually burn less fat during exercise because you become more efficient at using your substrates. But in reality, people actually burn more fat during exercise when they are more fit. And this is at different intensities too, not just high intensity. And what these studies indicate is that the more you exercise, the more effective your exercise becomes at burning fat because you end up burning more fat for the same amount of exercise when you are more fit. And in fact, a study looked at predictors of your metabolic rate, so how much fat you're burning at rest, and found that your aerobic fitness is actually a stronger predictor of how much fat you burn and your metabolic rate than your age is. So aerobic fitness seems to be more important than age in determining how much fat you burn. And even more than that, the amount of muscle you have was three times as strong in predicting your metabolic rate than age was. And what this suggests is that a fit 70 year old could have a faster metabolism than an unfit 18 year old. And that ultimately what happens as we age is largely that we lose a lot of cardiovascular fitness as well as muscle. And that this is what leads to our metabolic slowdowns. So I think a lot of people think of exercise, especially with aging, as sort of just being a way to burn off calories to prevent the inevitable fat gain from slower metabolism, like kind of like a bucket being used to remove water from a sinking boat. But rather, you can think of exercise as actually a way to patch up the boat and stop it from sinking. So metabolic slowdown does not have to be inevitable with age. You can counteract it by becoming more aerobically fit and building more muscle through cardio and resistance training. And for other ways to speed up your metabolism, check out my two-part video series on a recently discovered cause of metabolic slowdown that you might be able to do something about that affects everyone, but there's a good reason to think it would get worse with age, as will become clear if you watch the video. So I hope you find these findings as encouraging and motivating as I do, because aging does not have to inevitably ruin our metabolisms. If you like my content here and find it helpful, please consider donating via the GoFundMe for one-time donations or subscribing on Patreon for bonus content and the ability to ask for specific research requests where I do a deep dive to find research on a question that you have and other goodies there. So if you're interested, check out the Patreon or the GoFundMe, which are linked in the description below. If you like this video, please like and share it so other people can get this information and be encouraged and motivated too. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell below to stay up to date on all this science. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.